The BitCurator environment includes Gaimager, an open source graphical application for creating disk images. Gaimager has support for raw DD images, EO1, and AFF image formats. The latter two image formats are commonly used in the digital forensics community and have the ability to incorporate metadata about the original media into the disk image itself. First, create a directory in which to store your disk image by right-clicking anywhere on the background of the desktop and selecting Create New Folder. Name the folder as you see fit. In this example, we'll use the folder name Disk Images. Next, connect the disk to your computer. For clarity, I will use disk to refer generically to all media devices, USB flash drives, CD-ROMs, hard drives, floppy disks, etc., that you may wish to image. Make sure to enable write protections and or use a write blocker in order to prevent inadvertently writing data back to the disk. As you can see, we've already inserted our USB drive, and it appears on the left menu. This next step is optional. A disk need not be mounted, that is, made visible to the operating system, in order to be imaged by Gaimager. However, if you need to examine the contents of the disk before creating the disk image, you can use the mounter tool to mount it read-only, thus adding an additional layer of write protection. To mount a disk read-only, click on the mounter tool at the top, right-hand section of your screen. When the mounter window opens, select the disk you wish to image from the list. In our example, this USB drive. You can identify the disk you wish to image by the label, disk size, or the file system type. Once you've clicked the box next to the disk that you wish to mount, click OK. The mounter will close and the disk should now be accessible through an icon on your desktop. Next, open Gaimager by opening the Imaging Tools folder on the desktop, and then double-clicking on the Gaimager icon. When Gaimager opens, it will display a list of all mounted disks on the system. We can see our USB drive right here. Identify the disk that you wish to image, right-click on its listing, and select Acquire Image. Clicking on Acquire Image will open the Acquire Image window. In this window, you will first select the disk image format you would like to use. The options include Linux DD Raw Image, Expert Witness Format, or EO1, and Advanced Forensics Image Format, AFF. For our purposes, either Expert Witness or AFF are most desirable because the metadata we are about to input will be stored with the disk image itself. Note that if you choose either Linux DD or Expert Witness Format, you have the option to split the image into multiple files, thus making it more easily transferable. For example, a 4 gig image could be split into four 1 gig files or two 2 gig files. In our example, we will stick with Expert Witness Format or EO1. After selecting the image format type, fill out the metadata as needed. EO1 and AFF images were designed for the digital forensics community, so the fields are labeled for criminal investigation. However, these fields can easily be repurposed for the needs of archivists and curators. For example, an archivist might use the Case Number field to record an accession number. Fill out the rest of the fields as desired. Next, choose the Image Directory button to navigate to the folder where you'd like to export the disk image. In this example, we're using Home, BC Admin, Desktop, Disk Images. Note that Gaimager is running as the root user, so you want to avoid creating new directories directly through Gaimager. Click Choose. Finally, name your disk image. In our example, I'll name it Test Disk Image. Choose which verification options, if any, you would like Gaimager to perform from the options with the checkboxes below, and then click Start to begin the imaging process. Once the imaging process begins, you will be taken back to the main Gaimager screen, which will now show a progress bar over to the right. You may need to pull the scrollbar to be able to see the progress bar. When the progress bar reaches 100%, Gaimager has finished creating the disk image. Close Gaimager. 
and verify the image by navigating to the directory you created earlier. In our case, this is the disk images folder on the desktop. Notice that there are two files, the image file itself, in our case an EO1 file, and an info file. The info file includes the metadata we input earlier, along with additional metadata collected during the acquisition process. The imaging process is now complete. This concludes our screencast tutorial. For other uses of BitCurator, please see the other videos on our wiki at wiki.bitcurator.net. You can also visit the wiki to find written documentation and the latest version of BitCurator. We'd like to invite you to join our Google group, where you can ask questions and get answers about BitCurator use. You can find a link by scrolling to the bottom of our wiki, wiki.bitcurator.net, and clicking on Join Our Google Group. Thanks for watching.